It is officially summer, and with all this new time that I have, I am finally able to fill one of my New Year's resolutions, which was to create a skincare routine. So recently, I redid my whole entire skincare routine. I added a bunch of things, I changed some things about how I took care of my skin, and I thought that it'd be cool to share it with you all. Now, before we get started, make sure to check out the description to see some timestamps, the products that I'm using in here, and also the songs that I've used in this video. I have very dry skin majority of the time. This is my skin without any product on it. And, oh, uh, it's so dry if I don't take care of it. I used to have a bit of discoloration on my skin. I think I still do. But other than that, I'm really lucky to have pretty good skin. So starting off with my cleanser, I already washed my face, but this is the cleanser that I use. It is this Bar Facial Cleanser, and it is from Package Free Shop. It's the Rose and Charcoal one, which is supposed to be for dry skin, but this is the other half of it that I haven't used yet. It's really, really pretty. So next I have my toner. I use Witch Hazel. So I just spray this on my face. I don't use like a cotton swab. I don't know why, but I just like it that way. And then I just do this until it dries. So the eye cream that I use is from The Ordinary. It is the caffeine solution. It is 5% and it is also has EGCG. I don't actually know if eye creams do that much, but I got it just to try it. And honestly, I do think that it's been helping with my eye under eyes because they've been less dry and maybe if I use it a little bit more, I'll see more of a difference. I know a lot of people use this product um, as just like a normal face serum to put all over their face. I wouldn't because it's just really sticky. And especially if you have like oily skin, I don't know how that would work. So the next step that I have is moisturizer. I literally just use coconut oil. I've been using coconut oil on my face for like years because it works and I don't really like other other moisturizers. I don't know why. I feel like they're just so expensive for like, and they dry me out from like what I remember. Now the last step for my face is sunscreen. I have to be honest, I just started using sunscreen this summer. This one is the Sunbum sunscreen stick. It has an SPF of 30. If you have oily skin again, don't know how this would work. Other than not being reef safe, it's really good. So last but no, certainly not least is my chapstick. I just use the Carmex chapstick. This one has SPF 15, which is really good, especially during the summer because I don't want to get skin cancer. And that is all I do. So yeah. Okay, so once again, I am starting on a freshly washed face using the same exact cleanser as last time. So I have a choice between three face masks. I'm gonna share all of them even though I'm not gonna use all of them today. The first one I have is this detoxifying charcoal face mask from Freeman. I'm pretty sure this is from Ulta. Um, I have used this one once and I really like it. This was a replacement one from another charcoal mud mask that I had. The next face mask that I have to choose from is the Aztec Indian Healing Clay Mask. This one is super popular because of how versatile it is. You can use it on your hair and any part of your skin. So the one that I will be using today is this aloe vera face mask. I put it in this bottle because one, I had it, and two, it goes, it makes it easier to ap apply it to your skin. Aloe vera has so many wonderful 
benefits for both your skin and your hair. So I'm gonna leave this on my face for 10 minutes to dry and then I'll come back and do the rest of my routine. So the next thing I have is exfoliator. It isn't a physical exfoliant, it's a chemical exfoliant and it is the Ordinary AHA BHA solution. This stuff is super strong and I've seen so many horror stories of people using this and I'm like, why? If you wanna get this product, make sure to do a patch test first of all and only have it for at most 10 minutes. This one for me, it does sting when I'm putting it on, but not as much when I'm like, I already have it on. I don't put that much. I'm just gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and no more than that, because I don't want my skin to literally burn off. But yeah. So something that I do differently from my morning routine that I do every day, unlike the masks and the solutions that I put on, I put on some organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil from, again, The Ordinary. This stuff is super hydrating and it helps even out the skin. So lastly, I'm putting on, once again, my coconut oil for my moisturizer. I don't need as much this time because I already have the rose hip seed oil on my face. So lastly, for my skincare routine, I have to put on some kind of moisturizer for my lips. This one is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer, and I really like it. And that concludes my skincare routine. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you wanna see more videos like this and want to be in tune for everything that I'm gonna be doing this summer, make sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check the description box to see all the products that I've used in this video and also the benefits of all of them. Once again, thank you so much for watching and stay lovely.